Looking for some bauxite, looking for some bauxite. I need to make some aluminium ingots. To find aluminium ingots, I need to get bauxite, bauxite. There's bauxite here. Hey guys, Janky here. So who doesn't like explosives? Whether you're working on deforestation, pest extermination, no, or just fooling around with your friends, these little things can be a ton of fun to use, but not so fun to make if you're planning on hand making them. So today I'm going to show you a simple factory design to make nobelisks. Now I'm going to assume that you've come a good way into the game if you're planning on automating this, so I hope you already have a steel factory to produce the needed steel pipes. If not, you can watch another video of mine where I made a design to produce steel pipes and beams. So with that out of the way, let's get into the numbers. The factory in question will require 60 coal, 120 sulfur and 120 steel pipes. The explosives are produced at the rate of 12 per minute. There are two parts to this design. The first part will be the factory for the black powder and the second part will be for the nobelisks. Both factories take a 3x3 space. So while I was editing this, something really bad happened. My main base had four saves to it, three of which were auto saves, and one was, for some reason, an old save from three months back. While recording this, I needed a particular load with a certain design of the factory in it so I can get some footage. And while searching for the right save file, without really looking at the date of the file, I loaded the old file, and then went out to run an errand. And the game loaded, or the old save from three months back, and the auto save kept running. And I was gone for a while, so it saved more than three times, which completely overrode my other saves. Which means I lost three months of progress on my world. So with that, I've now learned to make backups for my save. So instead of working on with the old save, I decided to start a whole new world, which means until I can get back to my previous state, the designs will have to wait. I'm thinking of going mod free on this one. Um, should I make a let's play? I don't know. I was thinking of making a let's play and maybe even showing you guys how I come up with designs. I don't know. What, what do you guys think? It'll depend on whether or not you guys really want to listen to me rambling on. Tell me in the comment section. I'd like to know what you think. Also, speaking of comment section, I'd just like to thank everyone for their support. But most of all, the criticism. It's helped me stay on the right track and write the mistakes I've done and grow in the process. In my previous video, I have noticed that I've leaned a bit too much into how Skulti makes his videos, so I'm going to use this opportunity to find a new style of editing and design work. It's going to be fun, and um, I'd really like all of you to stay with me on the journey. So let's get started. First, build double wall conveyors as shown. And then, fill the rest of the spaces with normal walls. Build a wall above the regular wall between the two double wall conveyors on either side. Then, place a splitter on the socket of the double wall conveyor with the inlet into the socket. Do the same on the other side. Now, place two splitters one on top of the other on the middle wall and the opposite side. Then, place two more splitters in the center. Both splitters should have alternating inlet positions in line with the other splitters. Now you can connect them as shown with Mark 1 conveyors. So the coal at 60 per minute enters on one side, gets split so that 30 can be used on another floor, and the other 30 moves to the center splitter, to split into 15 on either side, which will be split again to get 7.5 for four different assemblers. The sulfur at 120 per minute enters on the other side, splits into 60 to again be used later, and the other 60 gets split the same way to get 15 for four different assemblers. Cover up with walls as shown. We're gonna leave the center exposed. Now place double wall conveyors above the previous double wall conveyors on the sides adjacent to the opposite side. Then place regular walls. Now place assemblers.
and then mergers facing one direction. Keep this direction of item flow into consideration. Connect up with the lifts. Then place the windows and walls. Now we're going to take the double wall conveyors, do the same setup but from the opposite side. Now when placing the mergers, keep the direction so that it matches up with the direction of flow of the floor below it. We'll use lifts to connect them all up. Repeat the windows and walls. Then connect the assemblers with the bottom floors using lifts. This will be the halfway point. Keep in mind I'll be referencing this point later down in the video. Now we are essentially going to repeat the same setup from the load balancing of the first floor. So take the double wall conveyors and place as shown. and fill the rest with regular walls. Now place the splitters down like we did on the first floor, but this time we won't place those single splitters on the double wall conveyors. Connect up with conveyors. The 30 coal from the previous floor is split as shown just like before and so is the sulfur. Now we're going to use lifts to connect to the bottom load balancing. On the opposite side, take the lift and then do as I do. Cover up with walls. From here, everything is just a repetition of the previous floor setup.
and with that we finished the factory for the 60 black powder per minute. Now we need to assign the work to each assembler and then power the whole setup. Now we need to build the setup for the nobelisks. For the nobelisks, all you have to do is build the exact same design from the halfway point given in the timestamp here. Just build beside the factory where the output is coming and then connect the black powder output to one of the inputs and then the 120 steel pipes per minute to the other input. Also, instead of using Mark 1 conveyors, use Mark 2 as the steel pipes are coming in at 120 per minute. And with that, we're done with the setup. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. That's it.